welcome back to the channel everyone. My name is London and I'm back with you to do your daily tar tarot reading for Sunday, March 15, 2015. I have picked three cards from the Anna K Tarot to give me a depiction of the energies that we can expect for this upcoming Sunday. I have the Angel Tarot card by Doring Virtue to give me an overall feel of the energies for this upcoming Sunday. And I also was gifted this deck, this Kyle Gray Angel Prayer deck for spirit guide messages and angel messages by Big Will 420. Big Will 420 is a subscriber of mine. I'm also a subscriber of his. He um, has a channel here on YouTube where he does tarot readings. His readings are very accurate. He has um, his readings are called um, Wheels Weekly Wisdom, and once again, his channel is Big Will 420, and um, he does like a weekly reading, but he breaks it down on on a daily basis so it's really amazing it's really accurate and he just does some really great reading so we exchanged some decks and um, he actually sent me two decks so I have a surprise deck to use with you guys um, probably for tomorrow's reading but the um, angel oracle card that we're going to use are the angel prayers deck by Kyle Gray and sponsored by Big Will 420 so definitely check out his channel guys he's amazing the first card that we have from the Anna K Tarot for today Day is the fool. The fool is really that um, new beginning energy. As you see, this person is really innocent. He's really happy and go lucky. He's moving on to this new path that you can see that, but there's a little break. Um, a little break in the road ahead, but um, it's signifying that he's transitioning into a, a new beginning in his life. And this is all about innocence. This is all about, you know, being on that starting point, you know, that freshness, that um, joy of living, you know, um, really acting on an impulse. And with the um, full card and re upright is letting us know that we're embarking on new paths in our lives. We're embarking on new beginnings in our lives. And it's telling us to um, really pay attention to these new beginnings. It's telling you that you're starting on a new starting part in your life. You're um, transitioning into a new beginning. Yesterday we had the will card that it was actually speaking about transition. So this is what the um, the full card is speaking about also. He's talking about you um, really feeling happy and go lucky while moving um, 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 forward on this new path, but it's telling you to really watch your step and to really observe um, um, what you're doing and how you're moving forward. The next card that we have is the Two of Cups in Reverse. The Two of Cups Upright is an amazing card. It's really that... Um, you know, that exchange of love, that uh, falling in love at the first sight, where you're not really revealing too much about yourself. You're holding back um, some things, but you really like this person. And um, it's really that coming together energy. It's really that mutual understanding, that exchange of emotions with the cups that are right here. And it's really that falling in love energy, that joining together with another person. There's sunlight around and there's prosperity growing in the background. With this in reverse, it's letting us know that you don't really need anyone else to and have this feeling in your life to have this um this energy of um falling in love with the things that you're working on it's letting you know that you don't really need anyone else to move forward on this path that you're working on and it's telling you to continue to move forward on the path that you're working on you know watch your step watch um watch out for things that um you know, may come up at you while you're doing this. You know, don't be um, completely blindsided. And really, you know, look at where you're going in your life. This new path that you're embarking on, pay attention to it. And know that you can get there. You can get to this um, new beginning um, by yourself. You really don't need anyone. It's telling you that um, you're going, when you do get to this place, you're, the Two of Cups, is a, it could be a person. It could be a love of a person. It could be a love of a new home, a love of anything. But it's telling you you're going to really fall in love with these new things that you're working on and to continue to move forward with them the last card that we have from the Anna K Tarot is the seven of pentacles I love this card and we've been having this card a lot recently this is the patience card this is the card of really tending to your fields doing the work that's needed as you see this man is really um, has all the tools that's needed in order to um, really manifest these things that he's been planting and it's really just talking about tending to your projects, having that patience, you know, letting things
things develop and having that patience for the growth. As you see, things are really growing right now. And this man is really evaluating his status as to, you know, um, how to move forward, how to get these things completely um, manifested in his life so that he can reap the rewards of it. And that's what you're doing. But it's telling you to be patient. It's telling you these new things that you're working on, this new beginning that's coming into to your life. It's telling you that this is something that you can work on by yourself and fall in love with it. And this is something that um, is really going to be beneficial for you. It's telling you to move, um, continue to work on the things that you're working on. You're reflecting the pro. Um, reflecting your or assessing your progress on the things that you've been working on already and it's telling you to continue to move forward on the the new things that you're also working on and continue to um, maintain the growth that you've already had up into this point and try some new things and but it's telling you to really um, watch your step with these th new things you know take a look at all aspects of um um, moving forward and then move forward because this is a new beginning for you. We have the sun that's coming up right here and we have the sun that's already up right here amongst these things that you're working on. So it's telling you this, um, you moving forward on um, working on to this new path in your life, this um, new this new starting point in your life is telling you that it's going to be beneficial for you and you're really going to fall in love with it. But continue to have that patience to work on the things that you've been working on to this point and try some new things. If, um, if you've been um, really wanting to try some new things around this situation, definitely do and continue to work on the things that you're working on and know that you're going to get there, this place of um, prosperity, prosperity where your plants have really grown up. They're showing me these right here and these plants are what he's really um and what he's really planting right here, as you see, all of these surroundings around this person, there's not really that much prosperity in neither one of these cars. And this person is packed lightly. So it's letting you know to, you know, move forward with the things that you're working on with little baggage, you know, let go of the past and move forward on the new things. And know that you're creating abundance. You have abundance that is really taking form right here in these car this card right here, the seven of pentacles. And being guided to this tree that is starting to have these leaves growing off of it. So it's letting you know that prosperity is growing in your life and continue to have that patience to work on the things that you're working on. And it's going to lead you to this place where you're in love. You're completely enwrapped in the things that you're working on. And you have this sunlight. You have, The sun is really um, shining on these people and this prosperity that they has um, really been nurtured and taken care of and have has really prospered um, in these in these in your life so it's letting you know that 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 is what this tree is going to turn into it's going to turn into this blossoming flower bush so continue to work on these things that are beneficial for you I think we had this upright <laughs> and reversed Okay, so the overall theme for today is the star. We've been having the star a lot recently, but this is really um, talking about hope for the future. Really letting your light shine, cleansing all of the negative energy, all of the old away, and really just, um, you know, moving forward on your path. It says happy times. Make positive, optimistic, long-term plans, and you're on the right path. This is letting you know to really make those future plans that you're working on. On because they're going to be beneficial for you. Keep nurturing and have that patience around them. And to really uh, make positive, optimistic plans about um, long-term goals that you want to create. What are the things that you want to create? Manifest those things and move forward on them. And it's telling you that you're on the right path. This person right here is really not um, paying attention so much as to um, what path that they're moving on. And they're just happy to be. <laughs> they're just happy happy to be rid of the old so they're just moving forward and they're a little bit innocent about what's to come but it's telling you you're on the right path and to move forward the last card that we have from the angel prayers deck is new beginning and this is amazing because we have new beginning right here we have new beginning with the star with that hope for the new beginning and then we have the fool that is definitely about new beginnings but this one says new beginning and it says thank you angels for opening up the doors to change i am ready and this really shows this angel who is really stepping foot into this doorway of light and it's letting you know that 
that if you're feeling stuck, if you're feeling resistance around anything, it's telling you to really claim your freedom. It's telling you to walk through this doorway, this new beginning in your life and have faith in it. Don't be scared. Know that these new beginnings in your life are amazing for you. It's going to end up... Um, turning into this two of cups upright where you've really um just you know exchanging emotions with it and just really are starting to see the payoff behind it so it's telling you to continue nurturing the things that you're working on and you're going to get there continue working on it and um don't be scared of this new beginning really um move forward with your head held high like this this fool is <laughs> right here all right guys these are the messages that i have for sunday keep moving forward keep nurturing your projects and know that you're um, you're really um, coming into a place where your things are going to start paying off soon. And just um, really move through these doors that are um, being are right here. These new beginnings that are telling you to move forward with them. Move uh, forward with them. Yes, move forward with them. And um, you know, be fearless about it. All right, guys. These are the messages that I have for Sunday, and I will be back with you for the reading for next week. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.